You open Minecraft and find Steve is standing in front of you. But how? Before you can figure it out, his head rips off his body, exploding guts everywhere and leaving nothing but a trail of blood. This is the lost head. And now we just have to die. At least if this theory is true, then the lost head should spawn. Reports claim that when a player dies, their data is split into two, which normally would break the code, causing it to be deleted. But apparently, if you can stop the code from breaking, the player AI will act on its own in the form of the lost head. All right, well, that didn't work, so test two. Let's try with the Steve skin, since the lost head is the head of Steve. Do you guys see any sign of a floating head? Perhaps a trail of blood? I mean, I died there, and yet I see nothing. Maybe we need to try a more explosive method. But no matter how many times I died, there was still no sign of the lost head. Maybe instead, to split my player data, I needed to split myself. But how? First, I needed resources. An anvil, a stone cutter, and dripstone. What do all these blocks have in common? They're very sharp. So maybe I could use these items to split my player model in two when I die. I mean, after all, these aren't normal ways to die. All right, let's give this a go. Wait, won't this just crush me? Actually, yeah, I didn't think that through. That literally just crushes me. That doesn't make sense. And I'm not really seeing the lost head anyway here. But regardless, guys, keep your eyes out for anything. If you see anything, let me know in the comments below. But the stone cutter, this is an item that literally saws through stuff, except normally you can't die to it. Hmm. Maybe I could build a machine that somehow allows us to die to it. What else can you die to? Suffocation damage. Wait, if we combine it with a piston, we could actually force it to kill us. That's genius. This is huge brain, guys. All right, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some of those. What if it did? If we have two pistons lined up like that, we could push the stone cutter into ourselves along with a block to, you know, essentially suffocate us to death. And that would cut us up. It would split apart our body and our head allowing for the lost head to be spawned. Okay, we need to do a little bit of redstone in here, so we'll bring that down. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm really low on blocks. I should have collected some more stuff. Okay, so bring that down. And so what? We'll activate it from the front using a redstone torch and we can wrap the redstone around. That should work in theory. I have not had a chance to test this, but I suppose there's no better time than the present, right guys? Okay, so that comes around to the front and then we just need to place a block here to block us off and then we activate it. Fingers crossed, guys. Okay, all right, I'm dying. We've made it so that the stone cutter actually kills us even though Mojang never intended that. Yo, we're literally changing the game's code right now. All right, come on, come on, come on. Please do this something. Come on, and say, okay, respawn. We're gonna see the lost hair. Wait, the respawn button's not working. <gasps> my AI has been split. It's stolen my ability to respawn. Wait, the button came back. Hold up. Oh, what? Was that, why is it working all of a sudden? Was my game just glitching out? Oh my gosh, guys, I got so excited that we were actually about to prove if this thing was real. I mean, it still could be real. What happens if that glitch was the cause of the lost head? Do you guys see anything? Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm really not seeing anything spooky or scary at all. So maybe it was a glitch. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time Minecraft has glitched out. Wait, hold up. That gives me an idea. What if we spawn him using glitches? Minecraft version error 422. Released by Mojang in 2009, the code was corrupted on launch. Mojang deleted it off the internet in just two hours. But why? Because it held proof that headless Steve was real. Who is he? And why is he headless? What if the lost head is actually just headless Steve's skull? Luckily, people on the internet saved this version before Mojang took it down. But man, this website looks so sus. Holy moly, this is monted, guys. And what is that sound? It's so annoying. Okay, we just need to create a world and get... I can't even change the world to creative. Are you serious right now? Okay, we need to create a world and we need to see if this headless Steve actually exists in this version of the game. Oh my gosh, this sound is so annoying, guys. What is going on? Look at my hunger bar right now. It's absolutely glitched out. These graphics are awful. This is so old. Oh my god. It's real. I'm headless Steve literally right there. And this is the game that Mojang released. So he does, in fact, exist in the game, at least only in this bugged out version that Mojang deleted. So now we just need to find the lost head. I mean, that's what I was here looking for in the first place. If, if Headless Steve is in this world and they are connected, the lost head has to be out there somewhere. I searched the entire world and there were tons of glitches, but no lost head. 
Maybe they weren't connected at all. Did I miss something in the reports I read? And then I saw this. Uh, I think I've been doing this all wrong. Check out this post about a new player data feature that was added to Minecraft. You can see this post was what, from like three days ago. So it's really recent. And it says here that player data is saved as a temporary cache memory on the computer so that players can respawn at any time with ease and keep their player data. And basically he's saying, wow, this is a great opportunity for all the Minecraft devs, but it's actually really important for us too because of this keyword, respawn. Because what's the only mode that you can't respawn in? Hardcore mode. The computer has no reason to store the data because I can't even respawn in the first place. So it should actually split my data. And we're in. Okay, great. We've got the perfect place. We just need to get up on that cliff and jump off. That should immediately kill us and therefore split the player data in two. At least if this post is real, which hopefully it is. So let's jump up here. Nice. All right, cool. Is that going to be high enough? Okay, we don't want to stuff this up, guys. We need to get it in a single go or it's not going to work. All right, that should be pretty good. Here goes nothing and... Okay, that should work. So now we just need to hit spectate world. Now, you might be wondering, how am I going to find an entity if I'm dead in hardcore world and I can literally only use spectator mode? Well, what if I told you there's a loophole? If we open the world to land, we can actually set the new game mode to survival and turn cheats on, which will allow me to type in game mode survival and boom, check it out. We can literally play as if we never died, except now my player data should be split into two. But if the Reddit post was true and my player data actually split into two, then why does my game look normal? Like hot bars the same, health the same, hunger the same. It's nothing like error 422. It just doesn't, wait. Be right there for a second. Do you guys see that? Something appeared. Rewind, rewind. Okay, you guys have been telling me over in the comments for not spotting entities, but I, I just saw one right up there. But I swear I saw blue and, and legs and arms. Wait, hold up. Was that headless Steve? That's, that's not the lost head. No, 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 no. I am 100% sure I saw headless Steve, but what, what was he doing here in the first place? That makes no sense. He's only ever been spotted inside Era 422. Nobody's ever had reports of him being in any other version. Did he, did the code somehow make its way to 1.19.2 since I installed the corrupt version? Okay, I need to find out. We need to figure out whether Headless Steve is still in this world. Wait, what? Excuse me, Era 422 player does not exist. What does that even mean? Wait a minute, guys. Headless Steve is the player in Era 422. And so if the player doesn't exist, that means he has to have escaped. He's gotten into my other version. My player data must have split into two. Somehow, Headless Steve has managed to steal it? What if he's already corrupted it? Having Headless Steve in this world is bad enough, but if Lost Steve is here too, and they have full access to my player data, that is extremely risky. They could have full control over my PC and I wouldn't even know. Wait, guys, do you see that? What's going on with my hand right now? It's just like spam clicking. Wait, what? it's not even, it can't even break blocks, it's just spam clicking. Okay, look at my hands right there, guys. I am not touching the mouse and, wait, what? What is going on, guys? I'm not clicking anything and I'm just getting random achievements. Okay, this has to be Headless Steve. He is getting more and more powerful. I need to find a way to stop. I need to find a way to stop it. Okay, wait, 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 we'll use the commands. Come on, we have commands on. You saw our switch game modes before, but we had, we opened the world before and we had command. Can I switch into even spectator? Nothing. Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe if we try and kill ourselves, this will reset whatever's on us. Okay, wait, wait, slash kill. No, what do you mean? Unknown or incomplete command. It's not even saying that I don't have permission. It's saying that the command just doesn't exist. It's been deleted from the game. Can I ban myself? Ban its, ban its EY stream. Come on, please. No, what? It won't even let me. Nothing's working. Guys, Headless Steve has somehow completely disabled commands on this world. Not even my permissions, but literally deleted the commands. Wait, hold up. Maybe if we delete the error 422 world, it will also delete Headless Steve. That, that's the only thing I can think about. Then we only need to worry about the lost head if it even exists. We need to shut down this error 422 world right now. Wait, guys, I'm clicking the quick game button and nothing's happening. Look, I'm literally spamming my mouse and nothing. It won't let me close. It's like Headless Steve is now controlling my PC as well and stopping me from deleting the world. But if I can't get rid of this game, then I can't get him out of my entire PC. Wait, no, no, I have an idea. We can go to my actual game files by typing in slash percent app data percent, and this will hopefully open up there. It is dot Minecraft, and we need to look for versions. All right, we are looking for error 422. It's gotta be here somewhere. Do you guys see it? There it is right there. If we delete the game files, it literally can't run. It crashed. Yes, we did it! <laughs>
Okay, we got rid of Headless Steve. So now we need to go back to my original test, proving if the lost head is real. Okay, it seems like everything has gone back to normal. I'm no longer getting tons of advancements filling up my screen and I can actually punch again. Okay, good. So now that Headless Steve is kicked out of the game, the player data should still be here. So, so should the lost head. We just have to figure out where to look. Hold up, wait, wait. What is happening to my screen, guys? What is that? Wait, something's coming closer. I can't see it because, <gasps> wait, is that what I think it is? No, 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 That was the lost head. That was it, that was it, that was it. I did it, but where did it go? Okay, he's real. So we found him, but wait, oh. whoa, 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 whoa. What is going up? Guys, go wait a minute. Okay, I don't know how to explain this, but look at this. I click backwards and I go forwards and I click forwards and I'm going backwards. All of my controls just got messed up. It's like he messed with my head. Because he's the lost head. Hold up, let's see if this is actually real. Controls, mouse settings, uh, invert mouse is on. Wait, hold up, and keybinds? Look, literally walk forwards is S. Who did this? All of my controls have been absolutely changed here, guys. We can set that back to D and that should be all my controls back to normal. So he did more than just mess with my head. He was actually able to change the game data. That's getting really worrying. Okay, no, good. My game's back to normal. Phew, I can move. Wait, hold up. What was that thing that just flew past my screen? Did you, wait, what, what is that? Wait, guys, what is that? Guys, hold, hold up. Is that Steadless Steve? But how? I, I literally just got rid of him. I closed Era 422. How much more powerful has he gotten? How is that even possible right now, guys? Wait, where did he go? Guys, I don't like that. Do you see him? He, he was circling around me. Now he's just gone. Guys, what's going on? I can't move my, nothing's, but I fixed my control. Who's that? Normal Steve, wait, why am I, why am I floating up into the sky? Unless, wait, is that Headless Steve and the Lost Head combined? They've become so powerful, they've combined my player data and now they're controlling me. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Guys, he's detaching his head. Oh my, no, ew, gross. Wait, why is his head coming towards me? He's taking my head. If it touches me, it's gonna completely corrupt me. No, no, get my head back, please. No.